Hey guys, so today um, I'm talking about one of these TikTok people again. I feel like I've just been finding so many stuff, so many stuff, so many things on TikTok to talk about because TikTok is just like a condensed area of content, sometimes good, sometimes questionable. Today we're talking about another food business on TikTok, which just the idea of selling food on TikTok somehow still irks me. Like I just never buy. There's this other thing where everyone will film TikToks about like instant noodles they like to buy or like I've seen people sell rotisserie chicken on TikTok shop. Not for me, but for someone else, I'm sure it works. I'll just be, first of all, I'm vegetarian, so I wouldn't buy rotisserie chicken anyway. But just the idea of buying like fresh food on TikTok shop, not really the vibe, you know, not really the vibe. Um, let me know if you've actually bought something on TikTok shop, anything, food, clothing, makeup, anything. And if it was like good quality, how was the shipping? How was the price? Like, I don't know everything because I've never ordered from TikTok shop. So let me know. Um, but today we're talking about uh, an account called Pickle Me Everything with 145-ish thousand followers. And they basically just, the bio says it all. Love to pickle everything and anything. Sure. I'm Polish. I love like pickled stuff. That's basically our whole diet. So this is right on my alley, except I don't like botulism. So we'll find out when we get there. I'll let you guys know. Subscribe to the bell, like, comment for engagement. Let's just get into it. So this is Pickle Me Everything. She starts every video with like, hello pickled friends and family. Hi pickled friends and family. And it's all very cute. And she sells just a bunch of like pickled stuff. And she sells it on Etsy, I'm pretty sure. She makes it all at home. It's all organic. You know, all the good stuff. All the good stuff that you want from your food. And then um, she posted this TikTok about getting a bunch of orders. Pickle friends and family. Guys, I'm beginning to work on all the orders. I just wanted to say thank you so much to keith and his platform and his followers his amazing support to end a year this blessed i'm blessed thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the orders keith thank you for what you did to my platform i have no words to say but thank you may god bless you and your family happy holidays to everyone with that said guys i'm going to try to ship all orders as fast as i can as soon as i can but keep in mind, you will not be getting any orders before Christmas because of shipping. Um, thank you from the bottom of my, my bottom of my heart from everyone, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, a million. And thank you, Keith, again, and to you and your family and your wife and your kids. Thank you. And that was mainly because of Keith. Keith is a food reviewer on TikTok, and he just basically reviews a bunch of food on TikTok. As I said, everyone loves him, everyone trusts his opinions, and he's recently been trying a lot of like smaller businesses on TikTok that make food-related stuff. And he actually tried pickle, meat, everything's kind of pickled stuff. I got it. Mama Top made this look way too good. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. Immediately after watching her video, I went and searched up this creator myself. Her name is Pickle Me Everything. Just so happened she was on live the second I went to search her name up. I joined her live and said one thing and everybody in her comments was like, Keith in here, Keith in here, Keith in here. Next thing you know it, I'm on live with her and she's making my order right in front of me. I told her straight up on the live, I gotta be honest. I watched her put a little bit of everything in here. Bean sprouts, Brussels sprouts, carrots, cauliflower, cilantro, a bunch of herbs. And get some radishes in here. Any vegetable you can think of, she was throwing in here. She was throwing the kitchen sink and then some. She guaranteed that all the vegetables was gonna work with each other. So we about to find out. She was playing with this seal. That's how you know it's fresh. Oh, I love that sound. Immediately, that is punching. It sounds like mustard, vinegar, fennel, a little bit of pepper, like something spicy. She packed this thing to the brim. It's a Brussels sprout, a pickled Brussels sprout. It's a whole garlic bowl. What? Pickle. That's a good pickle. That's an extremely innovative and genius way of eating vegetables. Vegetables you probably never eat. You ever ate a whole piece of garlic? Not a lot of people can say they have. And I'm one of those people, but that is delicious. I know it sounds weird to eat a whole piece of garlic, even a whole piece of Brussels sprout. But for some reason, the balance of like, whatever brine she uses and seasonings and like, I don't know how she do it to be, <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I know how she make that good, but it is good. For what it is, it's an 8 out of 10. 
if anybody else was trying to give me a pickled Brussels sprout, it would probably get a negative 30. So for that to be an eight is crazy. Two things. First, thank you to Pickle Me Everything for sending this. I really appreciate it. Two, if you try this and you don't like it and you don't like pickles or vegetables, you probably just looking for something they're not like. Or if you like pickles or vegetables and it's not for you, again, everybody taste buds is different. And it's an acquired taste. At the end of the day, it's pickled vegetables. It's not going to be for everybody. I just said that because I can already see the videos and the stitches of, bro, I tried that. That was nasty. He be lying. Y'all said he was valid. You don't like vegetables or pickles, bro. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to like it. Pickle me everything. You got something on your hands. And it's a good pickle, too. The review was amazing. He was really, like, you know, enjoying everything. And then the comments are rolling in because a TikTok was posted basically saying how you're not allowed to make pickled stuff at home because of botulism. Now, let's actually look up what botulism actually means. Botulism is how it's pronounced before anyone tries to correct me. Um, is a rare but serious illness caused by a toxin that attacks the body's nerves and causes difficulty breathing, muscle paralysis, and even death. This toxin is made by Clostridium botulinum and sometimes, I'm not even going to attempt. And now what foods give you botulism? The typical source of foodborne botulism is homemade food that is improperly canned or preserved. These foods are typically fruits, vegetables, and fish. Other foods such as spicy peppers, foil wrapped baked potatoes, and oil infused garlic may also be sources of botulism. So it's if you improperly like can or preserve something. In the States, you're not allowed to make pickled like jarred things at home. You need like an actual license and like an actual proper kitchen for it because the way you can it can cause botulism it can cause this bacteria to grow so how does pickling work it's a preservation method that uses an acidic liquid like vinegar to store producer room temperature yada 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 it's pickling dangerous um so when your pickles are placed in enough vinegar and the jar is properly sealed they should be safe to eat the trouble comes when the canning process isn't performed correctly if any of the canning steps aren't followed in exactly your new creation could become a breeding ground for harmful bacteria like botulism and according to cdc botulism is rare but many of the cases can be traced back to at home canning and preserving so it's mainly from people doing this at home because you can't make like an exact science at home and that's why you're not allowed to sell canned food unless you have a license because then that means that you're preserving it properly obviously if you're making this food for yourself and you're willing to risk botulism have fun <laughs> don't have fun that is that sounded like i just want everyone to die you know if you're doing it for yourself and you know the risks you're doing it for yourself but if you're selling it so then there's obviously the cottage food law, which is in regards to making foods at home. So for example, the pink sauce lady, uh, I can't believe we have another food related scandal. The, the pink sauce lady was able to get by because of the cottage food laws, which means that you're allowed to like make certain foods at home and sell them. A lot of cake makers will make cakes at home, cupcakes, desserts. It's a lot of desserts that people make at um, home and then just like sell. But there are certain foods that cannot be sold under the cottage food law and therefore have to be made in like an actual um, industrial kitchen. So there is a company called Casteron that helps you sell pickles from home. However, can I sell my homemade pickles? If you make a mean pickle that even the pickiest eaters enjoy, you may be wondering, can I sell my homemade pickles? While the short answer to the question is yes, it's important to understand the process is not so simple. To run a homemade pickles business, you will need to follow any local, state or federal guidelines to pertain for your product. Now, here's the important bit. For the most part, states do not allow homemade pickles to be sold directly to consumers without proper licensing. Pickles are not protected under some cottage food laws, but they're included in others, so be sure to check your state and your local regulators for confirmation. So I'm on the ncrfsma.org. So federal and state regulations on selling pickled vegetables. I'm looking through most of these um, states. It's obviously state by state basis. So it's not across the board, but I'm reading, you know, Illinois, uh, pickled products are not allowed to be sold. Iowa, not allowed to be sold at like farmer's markets unless they're produced in a licensed kitchen. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. You guys have like some weird pronunciations of states. You can't sell without proper licensing. Uh, Michigan, once again, must be produced in a licensed kitchen. Minnesota, is that how you pronounce that? Once again, you have to take a food safety course every three years. You have to have the, you have to register with the MDA. You have to label food with your name, display a sign that says these products are homemade. You have to like make a lot of um, safety kind of, you know, things so that people don't sue you. With Missouri, you have to attend a better process control school and have their process reviewed by a process authority. Nebraska, once again, like you must have a permit to sell these homemade canned products. North Dakota, like a lot of states I'm seeing are not allowing 
the sale of canned pickled stuff because of the botulism situation. Like everyone would be getting sued left, right and center. So Keith Lee finds out about this. <laughs> that was where I was getting the roundabout way of trying to show to you guys how like how serious this is with pickled stuff, right? You can make your pickles and you can eat them at home and you can give them to your family and friends if you know they're not gonna sue you, but you can't sell it to people unless you have a license for selling this stuff. And that's a state by state basis, obviously, different licensing for different states. So Keith Lee doesn't know any of this. He just reviews the food, doesn't know anything, not his fault. Someone posts a TikTok basically explaining the botulism situation and it finally gets back to Keith and Keith takes down his video reviewing the pickles and then posts an apology video, but since then he has deleted the apology video. So I'm gonna have to post like a stitch essentially of the video. I'm not only disgusted, I'm upset and I'm disappointed. Let's talk about it. For those that are unaware, I was sending pickled vegetables the other day. I tried them, I made a video about them. It came to my attention that those pickled vegetables were sealed improperly and caused damage, sickness, Botulism. botulism very very serious illness cancel your order if you made your order i don't want my message to be misconstrued or misunderstood cancel your order my video has been taken down because i don't stand for that i don't like how it's handled she was ignoring comments she was ignoring people trying to educate her it's one thing to be ignorant because as humans we're going to be ignorant but when somebody gives you the opportunity to be educated as a responsible person and business owner God. as a responsible human you should take the knowledge and take the education that people are giving you, especially when it comes to harming I've people. I've been saying this. Those pickled vegetables were sent to me and my family. Take and the then children. sent out to y'all. I don't like that. I want to take this time to say I take full accountability and I apologize for not doing my research like Look I usually his do. Children I usually do a lot of research into small companies. I can admit I had no idea even to look into those safety precautions. And for that, I apologize. I was ignorant. I'm accepting that I was ignorant and I will learn from it. I will take accountability, full accountability. I will look deeper into these small companies that I work with. I don't like that at all. I got on the phone with the lady personally, myself, told her exactly what I'm telling y'all. I told her I'm gonna make this video. I told her I'm gonna denounce it. I don't stand for that. She reposted my video. I told her to take it down. Now we in this situation. If you haven't received your order, cancel it. If you got your order, don't eat it. That's how I stand on that. Oh, that's not cool horrible. at all. You gotta be honest with people. You gotta be upfront. Yes. You gotta be honest with yourself. I come back. You gotta be honest with yourself. If you making stuff, especially if you sending it out as a business owner. Yes. Take criticism. You can be harming people. That is not cool to me at all. <laughs> at all. I don't like it. I completely denounce it. We don't do that. <laughs> we don't. Now she. You know, when he, before he had posted this apology and taken down the video, she had basically been like, oh my God, thank you to Keith. He like made my order skyrocket, which I'm sure he did. And now looking at that video, people are saying this didn't age well, like the pink sauce all over again. Just saw Keith's video. I think you're about to be busy, but that's obviously um, about getting all the orders. And she also wanted to sell to Drew Barrymore. Um, I'm so glad Drew Barrymore didn't see this TikTok. Good evening, pickled friends and family. Hello. This video is for Drew Barrymore. If you're seeing this video, my name is Amy. I pickle veggies all organic. No GMO, no artificial flavors or food coloring. Homemade with love and passion. I'd be honored to, get, to get send you some homemade pickled veggies. Like for example, this one, which is Asian cucumbers. We got some edamames, pickled, green mangoes, and many, many more. So if you're seeing this video, I'd be honored to get to send you some pickled veggies. People are also saying, you know, Keith sent us here. Uh, might as well drop a, might as well add to the shop what Keith got. Keith sent us. Like this was clearly like she was getting a lot of orders because of Keith and he felt so bad because he had pushed people into buying something that could ultimately cause death. Like I'm not trying to be dramatic, but like at the end of the day, like someone could have died because of this. Keith obviously felt really bad. I don't think it's his fault. He doesn't have to know what botulism is, but it's her fault for not getting the licensing really. She has deleted a, a few TikToks here and there, but essentially she was getting called out. She posted a TikTok saying that she has the license. Hi to all my followers and friends. Hello, pickled friends and family. Guys, everyone, I've seen what's going on. I have the food license. I have the can license. Guys, just give me some time to put everything together as a video and show you guys all the proof and all the facts before you blow things out of proportion, before you don't know things. So please, private message me if you have a concern or if you're not happy the way I did something. But let me have a second to post everything, to show you guys everything. Then you guys can assume yourselves what you want after that. With that said, there's no orders being processed at this time. All orders are being starting to process on Monday when I show you guys all the proof. 
the facts. So if you are placing an order, I appreciate it. But just keep in mind, no one's getting their order anytime soon. All orders are being on hold until I prove you guys everything. And then she took down that TikTok and posted another TikTok saying, I will be refunding all orders and pausing orders until I get my license because I'm in the process of getting my license. Hello, pickled friends and family. Um, first and most, guys, I want to apologize to everyone. I'm so sorry for all of this. It just happened so fast. Um, I was a small business. It blew up overnight. I want to bring, I want to thank Food Science Babe for bringing awareness to teach me things that I didn't know about this uh, food canning license, about a lot of things. With that said, guys, I am refunding everyone's orders. I truly apologize. I'm working on getting my commercial um, kitchen. We I've had it since Monday. I'm working on getting all the license, the permits, whatever it is that I need to get done to get this properly done. Um, if you want to cancel your order, I understand, no problem. If you want to hold on to your order until I get all this resolved and fixed the proper way, I appreciate it. I still appreciate everyone's love and support. Um, bear with me, everyone. I'm working hard. I I'm trying. I do. Sorry, my video got cut off, but what I'm truly, really trying to say is happy holidays. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry if I offended anyone or if I was rude or if I said something I shouldn't have, or I blocked, or whatever I've done or said, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hide. I'm not trying to run. I'm here, but I'm only here by myself. I'm one person with all the hate, all the messages. Everything just came so fast. It blew up so fast, and it's hard to reply to everyone's message, guys. Just bear with me. I'm doing my best. I do apologize. I do appreciate the support still. If you're not happy, no problem will issue a refund, but just please consider being a little bit nicer. It does hurt people. Happy holidays. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And under that TikTok, there are comments saying you said you already had the license, but Chism is very serious. So basically she lied about having her license and told people to wait a few days for her to show it because she thought she could get a license quickly, which it isn't a quick process. So, you know, someone said, girl, you knew. At least she's honest, unlike a certain someone who made a certain source. So like she actually wasn't honest. My thing is to avoid all of this. Why haven't the proper steps and research been uh, done to begin with? Not sure there may be any coming back from this. Too much flip-flopping. Too much flip-flopping, not flip-flopping. And then after this, she posted that she finally had like a proper kitchen. Thank you for all the love and support. I hope this kitchen brings brightness and happiness going forward. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you for the support. Hello pickled friends and family, I just want to show you my progress. I have submitted my pickles to the state so I can obtain a yes letter and get clarification to be able to ship the pickles. As everyone knows, there are a few ways to pickle. You can can them for a long term or you can make refrigerated pickles to be consumed with a shorter lifespan, but most be refrigerated. My pickling is refrigerated pickles, as most of you know. I have seen all the comments left on the last video and I appreciate all that have supported me and encouraged me. I, I also understand those that are upset with me and I hope to fix my mistake. I should have gone all my paperwork and prior to selling any items and for that mistake, I'm learning and I'm moving on. As for refunds, everybody that has requested has been or is getting a refund. For those for you that told me to hold on to the order until I get my kitchen up and running with all paperwork and documents, I appreciate you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry for the- Because to get a license, you need like an actual in like industrial kitchen um, to make sure everything's sterile and everything's clean. Because you know, the kitchen at home, you have like wood and things that can't really be sterilized. Whereas everything in like an actual kitchen, like a professional kitchen is like easy to sterilize. Those things should have been done from the get go. I think this is what happens when like you make food and your family loves it and you think you can just sell it. And then you realize just how difficult the process of selling food to people is. Like it's not just this easy like, I'm just gonna sell stuff because you can give people botulism and they will die and you will feel bad. Someone said, where's the pressure closer? Because you're supposed to close pickled stuff in a very specific way so that like air can't get in, air can't, because it has to be below a certain amount of air 
in the can to make sure that bacteria doesn't grow. So I explained how getting this kitchen helps. I thought regardless, in California, it's illegal to sell pickled products. Where is the refrigerator or the stove? Just curious. Etsy page is still taking orders, explain this, which means that allegedly throughout all of this, she was still taking orders. I don't know if that's because she's still taking orders as like a backlog. And then once the kitchen kind of sets in, she'll start making them. But then someone else said, actually impressive all of this, great start. But that is the pickle girl saga. I think it's ridiculous that people are just like, not ridiculous. TikTok has allowed people to start businesses that they have like no expertise in. It's just like, oh, I'm really good at this thing. I'm gonna just like sell it and make money from it. And it TikTok allows things to be monetized very quickly and very easily. And I think sometimes that means bypassing certain laws and regulations without knowing about them because you haven't done enough research. I think when someone just starts a business and creates like a brick and mortar store, right? They'll have to follow certain regulations and find out about certain laws and yada yada yada. Whereas when you're just posting 30 second TikToks, everything sounds really easy and like the money's coming in and you know, wow, like I'm getting so many orders and TikTok just allows things to get out of hand very quickly. It's like with the pink sauce, she created a pink sauce for herself. I bet she loved it, I bet her kids loved it. Like I bet her clients loved it, but then starting to sell it on a, on a larger scale just from home gets really difficult because there is no scaling up. It's just like two sources and then there's a hundred thousand orders, you know? So I just think TikTok has allowed businesses to get really out of hand. I'm not saying no one is allowed to sell things on TikTok. I just think you have to think through how you're going to do this before you do it. And I think that's a really obvious statement to make, but clearly not because people are just not thinking through these things. Anyway, that's it. Subscribe to the bell icon for engagement and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.